Right, today um, is a day for moi. So last week you would have seen us doing the Pecan trip for Lisa. And uh, as fascinating as it is, it's really her thing. Today is about me. Today is about... We're at the stage where we've got to start cracking on with the floor in apartment four. And so we're going to a place called Chateau Roux, which is somewhere we haven't been before for a lot uh, but it's got a few of the big DIY stores and some of you commented about um, the materials and where we get our materials from and how much they cost and all that sort of thing so we're going to Chateau Roux because it's got two different styles Loire Merlin, big shop, big chain but also one of the other um, slightly lesser expensive shops so we're going to do some comparisons and see if we get to uh, see what we can do and see what we can find. Um, a lot of plumbing gear, a lot of flooring, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, we'll see you when we get there. Let's go. We get past this truck that's wandering about. Okay, so we've been in the shop literally four minutes and already I've lost Ted. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I've said I've been here four minutes, I lost you already. <laughs> well, I was looking at the paint, but there is. Yeah, it's. Um, I think it's better than I thought. I just really, really thought that this was just the paint, but it then goes down that way. Um, do you want to have, go and have a look at the paint quickly? Yeah, I think. Flip out. This one. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Yeah. 53. 53. How much would I need of that to do the entire room? In the in the house. In the apartment four. Two litres equals 20 square metres. So um I actually like this colour as well, but I think I think for the bedroom, I'd really like to go quite rich. I think that's beautiful. Oh, no, it's a beautiful colour, that. Because that's what it is. That's a beautiful colour. That's too mauve. That's too rusty. That's perfect. That with the gold. The amazing. Gold accent, yeah. And lots of white draping fabrics. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll just keep that in mind. So I found the flooring to... Oh wow, that's gorgeous. And then that is That is what you call a proper oak floor. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's probably the ideal situation, what you want. It's super thick. It's already beaten up. It's beautiful. Um, however, to do the bedroom, two and a half thousand. No. Years. And I've put aside 400. It's 139 a square metre. Oh, my God. That's but it is gorgeous. That's 2,500 just to buy it. Without yeah, laying it, insulation, laying it. everything. Yeah. Oh, my God. It is beautiful, though. It's just perfect, isn't it? It's beautiful. It is the, 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 
you know, if you can't have an old one. Yeah. Just it just looks. It just looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, if you put that down, it would look like it had been down for a long time. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. But yeah, not in air price range. It's quite nice and really dark. But again, 50 a square metre. How much would that be? Um, I'll just have a look. Eight hundred and sixty. Okay, still uh, twice the budget I've put in. Yeah, <laughs> Afraid you're gonna have to keep looking, baby. Yep. That's the, that's the one we had upstairs. Is that the one we've got upstairs? Yeah, that's, that's the one we've got upstairs. But you know, that's a cleaner look, isn't it? I like the dirty look. Yeah, look, like the mashed up one. Yeah. Ten ninety. Well, no, 1650. 1650. You know, bearing in mind this is 1399 square. So that'll be in budget. Inlaid. On the front, and then that is inlaid because that is plastic. Is it? This is, yeah, this is not a tile. Oh. This is what is over there. This is like a, a composite. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I love gorgeous. that. Yeah. Is that that's a tile or? Tile, yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. See, this is tile as well. And it's quite extraordinary how. But that is just out of this world. Beautiful. Yeah, but it's 50 a square metre. Yeah. So again, you're looking at, I think the area, you say, you say the lounge area, if you did the entire kitchen, so the kitchen and the lounge, you did it all the way through the site, which would be fantastic. In the, in the piggeries, you'd be looking at four and a half, so it's eight, eight square metres. I thought it says 32 square metres. So 50, yeah, you'd be looking at about 1,600 quid. Yeah. It's not going to happen. I don't think the laminate's a nice idea, but I think we're going to have to do too much to the floor to put the laminate down. It has to be dead flat. I think we're better off when using the, the old floorboards because then at least if we do have a little bit of undulation, especially in a movement like this, we'll be able to run the boards that way and just have that little bit of motion. Sometimes you get nasty big knots in it, and that's the, the nature of the beast. They are natural, not knotty pine, and that gives you a really cool look. I think this, you know, this is going to give you a section here, a little section of uh, made up, and I think they look really nice because they get all knocked about dented and then they start to look like old floor and i think with a nice coat on them with a nice dark stain they look great really nice so how much would it be how what would the cost of that be well um it's 17 this this particular lot is 1766 a square meter so i'm not sure 17 times 17. so thank you for that <laughs> i'm not uh, I'm not that clever. Uh, calculate, okay. So 1766 times 17.25, which I reckon 309. That's we're okay. We don't need anything else to use it apart from nails to knock it down with. No, and we've got and loads of stain. Know, and I do know a man who's got a nailer specifically for this job. So that's good. I think for 300 euro, I've, you know, I've done my 10% over the top, so. And the thing is, it's, it's so versatile, you can use it for everything else. You know, if I need to make frameworks for cabinets and all that, I can use this. Because it's the driest stuff that I've found, and it's easily ripped. You, know, you can rip it up, you can use it for various. So it's very, very versatile. 
Cool, yeah. I'll, if you're happy with that and you yeah. think that'll do good. I think, I, I, I can't see that I can do the floor any other way, apart from pulling the whole thing up and relaying all the veins everywhere. Cool. It's the one we've had this before, haven't we? Yeah, that's what we've Next got in a couple area. of the rooms, isn't it? These are lovely. Yeah, I love these. I'd love to have some of these yeah. somewhere well, in the kitchen, house. It? Yeah. It's kitchen full on. We also need to look for the tolls for the bathroom, so I'm just going to see about pricing them up and, uh, yeah, see what they're like. In all the other bathrooms, we've really used this sort of quite dark and um, stone-like tiles but I think in the bathroom in apartment four we want to go a little bit brighter. That style. It is lovely. It's what somebody said we should do in the uh, bathroom. Our bathroom. It is nice. It is very pretty. But I do wonder how easy it is to keep clean because of all the little Well Now this is what I love. I love all these mosaics and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. But it works out so expensive, you couldn't do the whole shower unit in it. Well, I like this one. This one's yeah, but that's so similar to what we've got in two of the others, isn't it? I think we should go for something lighter in this one and then have a mosaic um, sort of border. Oh, wow. They're beautiful. I love them. I haven't seen them before. I don't think... I think that's one tile. Wow. One tile. I really like that. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. $16.90. How much would that cost us to do the, the shower in that? 120 120 is that all? What to do the whole shower? Yeah, it's seven square meters in the shower. I adore that. That is beautiful. Ideally, we'd need six packs. I don't think that's big enough though. Well, I think it's fine. Yeah. I prefer the 120 by 80. Right, Oh, is it? Three and a half thousand pounds of fuel. Really? Oh, of course, you get a seat. <laughs> it's the whole thing, it's whole unit. Literally, you put the whole unit in. Oh, there. I see, uh, yeah. Yeah, but still three and a half grand. Yeah, trying to get in that one, babe. Yeah. <laughs> don't think you fit in that one. I don't think I'll, there's not much hope in that one. How much is this? 700. <laughs> so it's lunch time in a very busy shop. Okay, so we're now looking for some furniture board because the wardrobes we brought, I want shelves in them and they don't have any shelves. So by Ted's face, that's obviously, uh, he's having a heart attack. So this lump here. Yeah. <gasps> 214 euros. This is a Together, it's all like yeah, but we don't need anything that board. substantial, do we? No, block board. 
No, we're not here. What about that down there? It's 1590. This here? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't buy it. It's banana wood. <laughs> it's bent to buggery. Shelves. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll get four of them. They'll probably do them over the road, but yeah. You get four of those. You get, out of 200, you get three shells out of it. So Brilliant. You get, yeah, so we get four of those and 1490. Cool. There's 20 euros for the car. And has that got enough wood on it to do the shelves? So the good thing is, you come into these big DIY shops and they have these carts like this. This is a really small one. Normally you have a big cart full for 50 euros. And you just literally buy what's on it. You buy the cart and you get everything that's on it. And Ted loves it when you get these carts. Is it not, not wide enough? Big enough. They're 600, we need 600. There's only two bits of 600. It's a shame. So, we've now come to a different location. We've exhausted Leroy Milan and priced everything up, but we didn't actually buy anything there other than a few bits of paint because... Well, we've come to a place that we haven't been before, and this is on a recommendation of our electrician Lee. Um, Brico Depot. It's uh, supposed to be significantly cheaper in a lot of ways, um, and it will be interesting to do an equivalent price up of all the stuff that we've done in Le Malin in here to see what sort of differences we can do. The thing with you've got to understand about being in France and buying French houses, you think you're gonna get a lot for your money and you do get a lot of real estate for your money in France. However, if you want to then do them up to a standard or indeed like us, create a business um, and to have that high standard, you do start paying quite a lot of money. They can and be they... a real money pin. Exactly, well said, money pin. <laughs> so you have to really make sure that you do your research, do your homework, compare all the prices, go to different shops and try and reutilize everything you possibly can that you find on site as well. Yeah, that's a really good point. If you can, if you can upcycle, you you can make it work. You can absolutely make it work, and it's something that we pride ourselves on doing. Um, the only thing is, obviously, sometimes you need new materials. But the other thing I've got to say is that the French are great at doing deals. So you need to look for deals all over the different shops. The other thing is, is when you see that deal, buy it, because in a few days, it will not be around. They don't overstock their shops because they get paid, they get charged an awful lot of tax if they keep a load of stock in. So they, they stack them high, sell them out. Once they're gone, they're gone. So you really need to be on, you know, be on your game as it were. Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's go have a look, shall we? Great, right? Plastic's great with big wire rods. For not not silly money. That's I was going to say this is a lot cheaper this than. This is not fifteen. This is six fifty. Yeah. For one, for doing your tape and joining, and they're they're normally sixteen. You know, in in the in the lights of Le Bois Malin and places like that. So that's it's really good to know. 
I've got a thing about time wizards. I've got a proper thing about them. I hate them with a passion, but I really like them. So that, for instance, which is just invaluable, um, 22, 90, 18, 90, yeah. Still expensive, but a lot more, you know, only four euros, but it's... It all adds up. Yeah, it's 20%, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the sort of stuff you forget. 21 euros. Got to have it. Well, it's 3 euros. So I spent 25 euros just here. Another thing not budgeted for. 21 euros. Do the floor. It's got to be mine. Got to get it. 40 euros there. It's got to be done. I always use them because I'll use them for having the part of the floor and then I'll use them over the piggeries and everything else putting plasterboard. It's another 18 euros. You're all seeing the rips. Facing. So the same sort of floorboards, pine, natural floorboards, 14, 20 square metres, so it's three euros, three and a half euros nearly difference from Loire Manor. Per pack? Um, per pack, then 1988. No, I was saying, it was just saying it was three euros a pack difference. No, or? no, yeah, th three, sorry, three euros a square metre difference. So it's even, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good deal. They're the same size and the same quality, you know, as you see, nice big hole in this one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you do get that sort of quality and slightly bigger. These are 51, 55s, those are 140s, no, these are 180s, which is good stuff. The 180s are really nice to make doors out of. That's it, lovely and white. But... So this stuff. To make your shelving out. Yeah, this to make your shelving out. 18 mil, 40 wide. Same price. Same price. I think it's 5 cents cheaper. Right, we'll get some of that. We'll get a trolley round and get some of that. So this, the wood is fourteen eighty five. If you want it, melamine covered chipboard, which is fantastic, fine for shelves. Um, eight well, I think it's only going in the cupboards for private use. Nobody else is going to see it. It's in our cupboards. It's yeah. And it's just for storage, so I think go for that. Yeah. It's cheaper. I've got to put them all back. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, I just had a thought. So I was going to buy the 40 centimetre ones. But I can only get three shelves out of these. Whereas if I buy the 600, 600 mil ones, I can get four shelves out of two metre length. So I only need two of these as opposed to four of these. And four nines are 36. Two 14s, 28.
pays for me plasterboard screws. Almost. If you're making, say, kitchen cabinets, um, this stuff here, two of those, two of those is 28 euros, which is a sheet of plywood, which I'd normally make plywood out of, um, out of plywood, a cabinet, 200 euros. That's 28. So if you're making carcasses for kitchen cabinets, you have to be a little bit more careful with this stuff, and it is fairly brittle, but if you're making a cabinet that nobody's going to see, but also, with a plywood cabinet, you've got to treat the inside. This, you can just use this. We've uh, exhausted Brico Depot. We've come to get, we've got a load of stuff, um, and I think we've done all right. And yes, it is, in some ways, cheaper. But I think it's quite limited in its range. Um, very disappointed with the plumbing department, very disappointed. Uh, means that we have to go to Brick or Man or we have to go to Leroy Merlin. Um, there's some bits, as I say, that were a decent price, but overall, I think we may be going back to what we know. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed joining us on our shopping trip today and perhaps learn a few things from it. Just remember the tips. Keep to your budget. Don't let your heart rule. See a deal? Buy it. Remember the incidentals. Compare prices and find alternative solutions. We'd like to say a special thank you to the Wright family and Stasia Martin for your donations to the Buy Me A Coffee campaign. And welcome to our new patrons this week, Miranda and Graham Eldridge. Welcome to the family. If you'd like to leave a tip and buy us a coffee, see the link in the description. Or if you'd like to become a patron, see all the behind the scenes footage, uncut videos and Zoom chats with me and Ted. Also, see the link in the description. We'd love to have you as part of the family. See you all again on Monday.